Hi, I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. I teach anatomy and physiology here at Glen Oaks Community College down in Centerville, Michigan. I've been teaching anatomy and physiology for about 12 years now and I've been at Glen Oaks for about eight years. I chose to teach at a rural community college because of the size. It's a small school in the middle of the woods so I can walk out in the woods anytime I want to and I've got small class sizes. The maximum size is about 24 students so I can really get student engagement. I can get right there with the students. I have lots of materials that my students can look at outside of the classroom when they're home studying. I've got a web page which is full of uh, images for the anatomy of uh, the body systems that I teach and uh, a YouTube channel and there I can share the, the difficult physiology topics in a way that my students can use and they can pause the video where they couldn't pause my lecture um, and they can post questions and other things. I get students who come into the classroom who say they've been to the, my YouTube channel or to the website and learn things off of the pictures that they see or the videos that they're watching. Um, I get emails sometimes from as far away as India from medical school students who are saying that my videos have helped them understand some tough physiology topic. So those kind of things lift me during the day. Um, the weirdest one I had was a couple years ago, these three young ladies from, I can't remember the state, but it was in the south, they called me all together to, on my office phone just to let me know that they watched a few of my videos and they really appreciated. So those kind of things really lift me. Well, I think one of the things that makes Glen Oaks outstanding is our approach to students. And that is simply to say that there's very personal contact. To uh, Robin Weekly that works downstairs and greets people when they come in if they need to visit the president or they're, if they're just going by, to the ladies that work in student services, um, to our ladies and gentlemen that work in advising, um, to the faculty members. We all try to give that personal touch that I want to make contact with you and I want to help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And then combined with that, it's a team approach. And I love this environment because of that. I don't know anybody who has it in for our students. They all want to help them succeed. And to me, that's the biggest thing that any college could do for their students. I'd really like to thank Dr. Margaret Hale-Smith. She put me up for this award, and she worked here as the Dean of Students for a few years before her retirement, and I think she did a lot of good for this college. Um, I'd also like to thank my direct boss, Patricia Morgenstern, our, our major academic dean here. Um, thank you for helping me grow. And to my fellow faculty, all of you, Thank you so much. That a lot of contributors, and there's just too many to really name. Thank you all, and thanks to everybody at Glen Oaks for helping our students. Welcome to Kellogg Community College. My name is Mark. I'm Pat. My name's Graham. And we'd like to talk to you today about what we've been doing for the last year. Back in the summer of 2014, there was a presentation here at Kellogg Community College about the Michigan Transfer Agreement and the changes that would soon be upon all of us. We realized that we had a really good program for statistics and a great program for the STEM track, or the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math track. But what we needed was to come together and create something to help students in the other pathways to complete their degrees. And within the span of one year, we went from course development, catalog change, and course creation to what we have now, the practical algebra class. Graham and I decided to take the lead approach with the new course that we called Practical Algebra. We sat down and we said, what is it that we want our students who would go this pathway in our math curriculum to learn based on their occupational sequence that they're taking and practically in their lives. And so we wrote a list of goals and objectives for that group of students. Those goals included not only um, health applications, but technology applications. They included um, finance and personal things to their lives. Once that list was created, 
we thought, okay, let's go look and find a textbook for this material. And we searched and searched and searched and found ourselves in a hole. We couldn't find that. And so we decided to go ahead and take the approach of creating a workbook that we're call we've called Practical Algebra to lead our students through these, this material. So uh, last January, Pat and I sat down with our wish list and we started uh, working on a book. And we weren't sure we were gonna finish, but uh, lo and behold, we, uh, we did. And we're really happy with where this is. You know, um, the students now, I think they really appreciate the fact that we've kind of made a class custom tailored to their, their occupational needs as well as some applications in their lives. And it's really great for the instructors too now because we're teaching a class where they see some real value in what we're teaching. And uh, I think it's working out great. Here at Kellogg Community College, we've done a course redesign and we've done that to help our students. We've really focused on what the students are needing and so we've looked at the courses and we've looked at our offerings and we've come up with the realization that our occupational students in, in particular need courses that are really going to target their future skills that they need in their professions. So in our course redesign we actually developed courses from scratch to target those students and to make sure that they get the skills that they need. In my classroom, I do a lot with active learning, and my students are always at the board pretty much every single day, and they're talking and they're discussing. And in a work environment, this is gonna be what they experience. They're gonna be communicating with each other and saying, well, what's our best route? How do we do this? What are we gonna have for our solutions? So I love the fact that my students are active learners, and this course redesign that we've done just fits perfectly for our students and the support of them. A couple of our colleagues went to a MTA conference meeting and brought the information back to us to share with us what was coming from the state and our curriculums. It gave us an opportunity to sit down, look hard at our, our algebra courses, and we've always wanted to work with the nursing staff. We've tried for decades to kind of get something together, and this gave us a real opportunity to work closely with them, to develop curriculum that meets their needs, that moves the students through to the statistics part of the MTA. Um, we have always had the STEM sequence that was, we just kind of cleaned up a little curriculum and the liberal arts program um, has been meeting the quantitative reasoning. So we really focused hard on the statistics and, and developing our practical algebra class. A couple of our colleagues have written a book that has incorporated activities in the classroom. Um, we've worked very hard with the nursing and other allied health um, contents to meet those student needs and I think we've had an opportunity to really develop a great class for um, our students. When it came to creating the practical algebra course one of the things we had to consider was all the different applications that we wanted to have in the class. Um, Pat and Graham and the rest of the department were great at writing all these different application problems. My part was writing what was the cell phone project. What we did is we took one of the old projects that we used to have, which talked about cell phone minute usage compared to their bills and how their bills would grow depending on cell phone usage. However, in this day and age, most of our students don't have that anymore, which we had to update that to talk about data usage and um, gigs and megabytes and things like that that would be more applicable to them. Uh, so what I happened to do is I found through, actually through my carrier, I noticed that on my website it had um, the different uh, breakdowns of what would, how much data usage would be for movies, for video, for song downloads and things like that. And then relating it to the different plans that was actually offered by my carrier in particular. And so what that did is it took what we used to have, which I thought was a great application anyways, and it stepped it up to be more modern to the students and more applicable to them. Uh, we'd like to thank Trends for the award. We're very honored here at Kellogg Community College. We'd also like to thank the, uh, the administrative staff for supporting us during this transition.